So this question looks like it's going to be a trans they were problem question, but let's just read it and see what's going on. It says, when the quadratic function f is graphed in the xy plane. Okay, so whenever I see that, my mind immediately goes to it being a plug-in picture question where I'm going to draw the graph for myself. So let's continue with that method. So it tells me that its vertex is that negative 2, 5. So here is my xy graph. I'm trying to draw it as straight as I possibly can without worrying about it not being perfectly straight. So I know my vertex is at negative 2, 5. So let's draw that. So that's negative 1, negative 2. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there's 5. So negative 2, 5 is basically right there. The next sentence says one of the x-intercepts of this graph is negative 7 thirds, 0. So negative 7 thirds, let's just convert that into a mixed number. So it's 2, 6, 1. So it's basically 2 and 1 third. So negative two and one third. So if this were negative three, then I'd have, and I'll make a, I'll use a different color, negative two and one third would be around here. So there is that. Now because, because of the symmetry of a quadratic function, I know that because this is my vertex, I should have a vertical line here to represent my axis of symmetry going through negative two. And I should have a point on this side of the axis of symmetry that is equidistant, right? The green dot distance should be the same as the red dot distance. Hopefully that rings a bell from how symmetry works with parabolas. So if this point here is negative two and one third, which is basically saying I'm subtracting one third from negative two. Then on to the right in green, I should be adding one third to negative two, which should be um, negative one and two thirds, right? So this should be negative one and two thirds here for the green dot. Hopefully that makes sense, right? I added one third this way. Okay, so what's the question asking? What is the other x-intercept of the graph? Well, so we found it in theory. So now let's check out the answer choices. We know we want it to be negative. So C and D are gone. And then we know that we want it to be negative 1 and 2 thirds. So let's try these out. So negative 13 thirds would be 3 into 13, which is 4. So that's already, that's already off, right? I'd have a negative 4. Let's see, 12 and 1. So this is negative 4 and 1 third. That's not what we want. So A is gone. Negative 5 thirds. Well, let's see that one. 3 into 5 is 1 and 3 and 2. So this would be negative 1 and 2 thirds, which is exactly what we want. So choice B is the correct answer here.